Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Prabhu Om Namah Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namah Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namah Bhagavate Vasudevaya Okay, let us say the Guru Prampara Prams, please. Namah Om Vishnu Padaya Kishapasaya Bhutale Shimate Bhakti Vidanta Shamri Dinamane Namaste Saraswati Deve Gorvane Pracharane Nevese Shashunyavare Paska Jade Sitarane Jaya Sikrishta Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Karadar Sivasari Gora Bhakti Vindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, 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 Hare Hare Narayanam Namaskacha Naram Jayavadarutamam Devam Saraswati Vyasam Toriyam Adhiriya Nasta Puryesu Abhajresu Nityam Bhagavata Sevya Bhagavata Uttama Shlokti Bhakti Bhavati Naistaki So before we recite the verse, I just want to offer my Dandapant Panams to all the uh, really beautiful Vaishnavs and Vaishnavis gathered here. And please allow me to take the dust from your feet and place on my head because you are not ordinary souls. You are all Mahatma, actually. You are all eternal associates of Chaitanya Mahabhu and Nityananda. Hariba! Only problem, we have got cataract in the eye. That is the only problem. Prophet said, you have got cataract in the eye. I have come to perform operation. Hariba! Sometimes he would say, heart surgery. Hariba! What is our defect? We're completely covered over. We cannot see where we are in this holy dom here. We can have no clue where we are. We have no clue at all. We see buildings, we see trees. We saw so many things because our eyes are covered with cataract. We see everything in a mundane way, although we feel, we can feel the Dham. We can feel the ecstasy, we can feel the Kirtan, we can feel the Holy Name, we can feel the presence of Panchatat. Well, we can feel, but with the fleshy eyeball, we can't see. We will still will see bricks and stones and all that because our habit is to talk Pajopa instead of Harikata. If we see a Vaishnav, we don't immediately fall on the ground. You see, we don't offer Dhanabhat Pranams straight away. Okay, not Dhanabhat Pranams, it doesn't have to be that far, but at least a little curtsy, you know, a little curtsy like this, you know. We see that devotees, they have forgotten etiquette. Uh, so not even a little curtsy sometimes. We see a Vaishnav, you should always go like this. We have to take from our Acharyas, Dhammacharya, Haridasako, we have to take from Naratam Dasako, these are Acharyas. Oh, when they would see a Vaishnav coming, they hit the dirt. You know, 
when they see each other immediately embracing, it's called love. It starts with the devotees. So it's very ecstatic. Prabhupada used to say, uh, bright faced boys and girls. Well, now we have some bright faced 60 year olds also, and, and uh, so many other older people now, you know, who are part of the, besides those that were Prabhupada disciples who joined when, when we were just in our 20s. I was 22 when I surrendered, surrendered, or at least I began uh, trying to surrender. I was, my body was 22 years old. And anybody who was, I mean, there was nobody uh, over 25. Really, there wasn't. There just wasn't. The movement was built by young people, you know, IYF boys and girls. Prabhupada, as you listen to the tapes, you know, you always hear Prabhupada saying boys and girls. Because that's who he made in disciples. And that's who built this powerful movement. Boys and girls. Well, what did they have? Shraddha. Shraddha. No money! No big iskan, No deep pockets? No Patreon members? Those things didn't exist. There's hardly any Indians in America at that time because uh, immigration was very tight. You know, Prabhupada had a very difficult time getting a visa. You know, they were very tight in those days. So, no deep pockets, you know, that all came much, much decades later, you know. What did they have? Shraddha. Shraddha. What value, what price tag can you put on Shraddha? You cannot do it. You cannot do it. They had no money. I don't know where they got the plane fares. Like I, I joined in, in San Francisco, 1968. Many of you in the room were in some other body, maybe in some other universe. <laughs> in 1968, you know. But, uh, but uh, they didn't have any money. San Francisco Temple had no money. Malati was there. She was there, and Jamuna was there, the famous cook. She was married to Guru Das, who has his new book out now. And there was Shama Sundar, who is Malati's then husband. And so a handful of these devotees in the 1969, they went off. They didn't have money. They went off and they opened the temple in uh, London. And Mukunda, Mukunda Goswami, he was part of that group. And Janaki. So this extended family, they went, they didn't have big bucks. They didn't have sponsors. They didn't have sponsorship. No. They had love for Siddha Prabhupada. And they had Shraddha and the holy name. And they had faith that yes, Krishna will provide. Krishna will help us. Did he help them? Yes. He arranged Mukunda. He gave the Mukunda Maharaj the intelligence to contact George Harrison. You know, somehow, whether he had this dream, he is a musician, Mukunda's musician, you know. So he had this dream, so naturally he could, like, dovetail it by engaging him in devotional service and also having, quote, darshan, unquote, of George Harris, you know, could put the two together. So he managed <laughs> some other, other, by Krishna's arrangement, Krishna within the heart. When, Muk when Mukunda Maharaj <coughs> contacted George Harris and said, we would like to meet with you, then within the heart, Krishna, now get it straight, not Om Narayan 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 Vishnu 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 Huh? You understand? Not Lord Vishnu. Prabhupada says, Paramatma is for yogis. Not Lord Vishnu Narayan 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 Vishnu Vishnu. No. Chibanga Krishna. Within the heart of George Harrison, he goes, Psst. You should meet with those people. It's a good idea. Yes. Go. You. Go. You, you meet with them. You, you, you just give them a few minutes, no problem. You meet with them. Go. Do it. This is how Krishna operates. You try to understand. We cannot see God. We are blind. <coughs> but you try to understand how he operates. He dictated George Harrison within the heart. Krishna, Tribunga, the flute player, the charmer of the gopis, the magic dancer, the subduer of Kali. 
within the heart of George Harris, he says, you, you meet to my, uh, uh, some devotees, some, you, you will meet these people out there, you will like them, go ahead, you meet with them. So he goes, oh, yeah, okay, 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 I'll meet with them. He was ordered to meet with the devotees. He did not fly out of the sky, he was not by chance. Chance. A concept made up by atheists. An illusory phenomena, a dreamland made up by atheists. Chance. So Prabhupada would roar in the Shinga Guru. And they say it is all by chance. You know, thunder, lightning, the whole universe. You know, Prabhupada was not very loud without a microphone, but when Prabhupada say, and they say it was only by chance. Thunder, lightning, you know. I actually, on the back of the new book by Guru Das, he gives an, ins an instance that took place here in Mayapur. Prabhupada was talking about, so God can provide rain, you know, and he is providing. It is a very easy thing. He said, he is providing rain freely, and he waved his arm in the air like this, and boom, at that moment, there was thunder and lightning, and it started to rain simply by Prabhupada waving his hand and saying, And God is supplying rain. Boom! <laughs> ah! That's Prabhupada. Hey, ball! Hey, Come on, you can do better than that. Hey, ball! Hey, ball! <laughs> That's who our Jagat Guru is, who can wave his hand and, uh, and, and, and thunder and lightning and psh, rainstorm is coming down. By waving his hand, because he wanted to illustrate for his disciples, see how Krishna is as Paramishwara. You just see how he is Paramishwara and illustrating like that to build the Shraddha, you see. So, uh, all you people sitting here, you are all eternal associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu. Prabhupada told us, he said, if you knew who you were associating with, meaning so-called common devotees, which is a misnomer, there's no such thing as a common devotee of Krishna, impossible. But supposing you were to use this wrong name, quote, common devotee, unquote, you know. He said, if you knew who you were associating with, you would faint. In other words, actually, everyone in this room, eternal associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda, and <coughs> simultaneously, <coughs> resident of Braj. Simultaneously. Otherwise, you have to ask the question. You like Gornitai? Everybody's attached to Gornitai here. You know, Nitai Gaur! Come on, that's not attachment for Gornitai. Nitai Gaur! Nitai Gaur! Nitai Gaur! So what happens when you get to Goloka Vrindavan? No more Gornitai? Now only Radha Krishna and maybe you, cover boy, you play with Krishna or Gopi or Manjari and you help Radha Radha and you make uh, garlands for Radha Radha, you decorate God around and you fix your hair, you do things, maybe you, that, that's very nice, this is super sweet. Niti Lita. No more Gornitai? What happened? No more Sankirtan party? No! Brahma Samhita is the clearest authority that says so that the jivas who are devotees of Govinda and who are devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Jadwaita Jaya Gadadhar, Shivas, those rare souls, Sudurabha, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Sudurabha, very, very rare souls who are devotees of Govinda, Radha Krishna, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, simultaneously in the center of the world of the lotus flower of Goloka Mridavan and simultaneously with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the Sankirtan party dancing and chanting Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 and that is only a portion of the power of a jiva to be able to do both lilas niti lila simultaneously you see that's why we don't know who we're associating with so Prabhupada said, you got cataract in the eye. That's all. Our only problem, we got cataract in the eye. That cataract in the eye is called the bodily concept. So, now, we will uh, chant today's verse.
Tatsanga. Mamashita Shvaryam. Brahmashita Shvaryam. Sorry, it's Brahmashita Shvaryam. Sangsarantam. Kvaryavat. Tadgatira. Buddhasyeha. Dimasat. Kamabir Bhavet. Tadsanga. Brahmsitaisvaryam. Now we can do whole, whole line. Tatsanga Brahmsitaisvaryam. Again. Tatsanga Brahmsitaisvaryam. Together. Tatsanga Brahmsitaisvaryam. Better. You hear the difference? Yes. Sangsarantam Kubaryavat Tadgatir Abudas Yeha Kimasat Karma Bir Bavet Tatsanga Brangsitaisvaryam Sangsarantam Kubaryavat Tadgatir Abudas Yeha Kimasat Kamabir Bavet. Next. Sangha Bangsitai Fayam. Sangsaran Dam Mubaryavan. Tadgatir Abudas Yeha. Vaishnavis. Narada Muni had also spoken of a man who is the husband of the prostitute. The Haryashvas understood this as follows. The Haryashvas, they are uh, some of the sons of Daksha. If one becomes the husband of a prostitute, he loses all independence. Similarly, if a living entity has polluted intelligence, he prolongs his materialistic life. Frustrated by material nature, he must follow the movements of the intelligence which brings various conditions of happiness and distress. If one performs fruitive activities under such conditions, what will be the benefit? So Narada Muni is the original heavy preacher. There are some heaviest preachers in the Bhagavatam. Narada Muni is one of them. Another is 
cute little five-year-old Pallad Maharaj preaching heavier than any Iskand sannyasi would dare to preach, you know? It's a fact, you know, I mean, he's a very heavy preacher at five years old, you know? Not a common thing. So, <clears throat> Narada Muni is speaking in a uh, metaphor. A man who is the husband of the prostitute. And the Haryasvas, they understood what he's saying. But the dull praying persons, they cannot understand Narada Muni's metaphors. For example, the same Narada was preaching to King Paribachinisat. Uh, and he gave the whole example of the city of nine gates and such elaborate descriptions of the city of nine gates, all metaphor. And then how when the gates were guarded, and then how the guards would come let down, and then how the invaders would come from outside, <coughs> and they would plunder the city. This is talking about old age, coming disease, Janma Mitu Jaravyadi, coming, plundering the material body, and ultimately capturing the city, namely driving the jiva out. So this whole complicated metaphor Narada was preaching to King Prachini Barisat. Then he stopped after some time. The king humbly says, Maharaj, <laughs> I'm very sorry, but I couldn't understand a word you said. And then instead of, instead of you know, an ordinary person would say, you idiot, you know, <coughs> what's the matter with you? Or they would say, good Lord, did I just waste my time for crying out loud? You know, I've explained everything in detail and, and, and you don't understand. I mean, come on, what's wrong with you anyways? You know, this is the way an ordinary mundane person. Oh, but Paramahansa is not like that. Not like that. So then very patiently, Narada Muni started over again. He started all over again with a simpler explanation that the king could digest. Well, this is Vaishnav. Riva! <coughs> it's a very long purport, so I'm going to only going to read uh, parts of the purport. <coughs> Polluted intelligence has been compared to a prostitute. One who has not purified his intelligence is said to be controlled by that prostitute. Of course, Prabhupada is not exactly a lightweight, lightweight preacher, you know. Actually, guru means heavy. You need to know that. Guru doesn't mean, Haribo Prabhu, how are you doing? How's the wife? How's the kids? The kids doing okay in school? Great. Pat, 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 pat. Great, great, great. Jai. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. You chanting your rounds? Okay, fine. Good, very good. Maybe that's an aspect of guru, but that is hardly the main thing. Main thing is the vani, the instruction. And here we see the Prabhupada is directly repeating from the shloka so that we, with our dull brains, Prabhupada used to say puppy brain, puppy brain, you know. So with our dull brains, we can get the point the polluted intelligence is compared to a prostitute and that if one does not have his intelligence, one doesn't have, in other words, mayaya prajyajyan, one whose intelligence is stolen by illusion. He is said to be, he or it could be she also, that person is said to be controlled by that prostitute, as stated in the Bhagavad Gita 241. Those who are actually serious are conducted by one kind of intelligence, namely intelligence in Krishna consciousness. Bahushaka Yanantash Cha Budayo Avyasininam Inam 
one who is not fixed in proper intelligence discovers many modes of life, thus involved in material activities exposed to the different modes of material nature and subject to various kinds of soul happen so-called happiness and distress. A man becomes the husband of a prostitute, he cannot be happy. After all, the uh, prostitute is always having sex with so many men. If you're married to a prostitute, it's very humiliating because your so-called wife is always having sex with another man. So where's the question of happiness? You can't have, this is the point. If you're married to a prostitute, you cannot be happy. <coughs> So you'll never be happy if you follow material and intelligence. So then one must study the material nature to understand how to get out from under it. And Prabhupada citing the examples of the scientists who claim to be masters of material nature, but they don't understand anything about the situation. So all unable to control the rulings un in the living being unable to control the rulings of God, in other words, the power of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is forced to associate with the prostitute of polluted intelligence and accept various material bodies. The living entity and material nature thus follows the ways of life enjoying the three modes of material nature. This is due to associating with that material nature. Thus he meets with good and evil amongst various species. <coughs> amongst various species, 8,400,000 species. And each time each species meeting with good and evil, a smaller fish meets with a bigger fish, <coughs> finished. So you can call that evil if you like. And uh, Jiva Jiva Sajivanam, you know, one, one soul is food for another soul. The tiger is stalking and then trying to then running and trying to catch the deer so hard struggle for existence such a hard struggle existence but nevertheless everybody is trying to enjoy big big house big big car big big bank balance but even the meeting in Christians in the West all of you who are from the West, you know, the Christian saying. You know, the Christian is, Christianity is watered down Vaishnavism. Wouldn't you agree, Prabhu? It's watered down. It's not, it's not full and complete. Not full and complete. Christ said, I could tell you more, but you can't bear to hear it. He said to his disciples, I could tell you more, but you can't bear to hear it. They couldn't even handle what he, simple instructions and morality and other things that he gave them. They couldn't even handle that. How could he tell them God is blue? How could he tell them God has four arms? <coughs> <coughs> because Christ is a, a, a devotee of Lord Vishnu. He's not a devotee of Krishna, you know. He's a devotee of Lord Vishnu. He descended from the higher planets, you see. So he said, there's many things you can't bear to hear. So he could not preach pure Christian consciousness. And besides, he's preaching in the Middle East, which was uh, a tough preaching assignment 2,015 years ago. It was almost as bad as it is now, <laughs> you know. So um, we should try to appreciate this level of preaching given by Narada Muni. This is our heritage. As Prabhupada told about how Narada took all the sons, he took all the sons twice of Daksha to Prajapati. Prajapati means one who has lots of sex. Now here is an example of somebody who is a devotee of Lord Vishnu who actually had darshan. He performed severe austerities for thousands of years of the devas he had darshan many times, but Lord Vishnu still the granti. How many of you know what granti means? Uh oh. Let's try that again. You're knowing Manajuna. This shows 
you haven't read Shema Bhagavatam, I do this very often. I bust the audience for not reading in Prabhupada's books. Especially Shema Bhagavatam, you haven't read. How many of you read even a little bit, even a portion of Shema Bhagavatam? That's better. But you've forgotten what first canto says. Hridaya <coughs> Granti. You must be knowing the meaning. Hridaya Granti. Huh? Not. Not in the heart. This bodily concept of life. That's why Siddha Prabhupada said, I have come to perform heart surgery. So even though Daksha was such a big, big devotee, you know, in Iskan people say big devotee, big devotee, oh yeah, he's a big devotee, big famous Iskan, famous guru, famous this, that, and whatever. Even when Prabhupada's on the planet, you know, um, he would hear the devotees talking about his senior uh, sannyasi disciples. Oh, so so, Maharaj, such he's a big devotee. And Prabhupada would hear these things that that, 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 that his neophytes were calling some, you know, sannyasi disciple of his a big devotee. So he told this little little story. He said, "If you're in the desert." There are no trees, it's flat. But in the desert, the castor bean tree is growing. Castor bean tree, they call it tree, they don't call it bush. Tree, actually it's a little bush, maybe this tall, maybe, you know, uh, one foot tall, bush. Uh, then Prabhupada cuts a joke, transcendental, he was very expert at transcendental sarcasm, you know, isn't it? Very expert at transcendental sarcasm, you know. So Prabhupada's comment was, Oh, look at that very big tree. What a little bush in the desert. Because there's no trees there, so a little bush. Oh, it's a very big tree, you say. So without knowing what is who is Paramahansa and what is Paramahansa, so then some devotees think even a neophyte is a big devotee. You see, this is a problem. So uh, we have to shravanam. We have to hear. So when so-called big devotee was uh, is still he's still alive, <coughs> <coughs> he will outlive all of us. Daksha is a deva. They live for so many trillions of years. Every single person sitting here is more fortunate than Daksha because of Srila Prabhupada's mercy. Hari Ba! <coughs> Daksha is not going back to Goloka Vrindavan. Daksha will not ever go to Goloka Vrindavan. All of you will go to, to Goloka Vrindavan. One day Daksha will go to Vaikuntha. You see, it takes a lot of time to explain. It is called Aishvarya Dham, the form Om Nanayan 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 Vishnu 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 Om 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 Like South Indian style of worship. You know, that's how they worship Aishwarya Bhav in South India. How they worship Balaji. So, uh, Daksha was so-called big devotee, huge big devotee, Prajapati. So, his service was to have lots of sex. I won't ask you how many of you would like to have the service of having lots of sex as your devotional service. I, I won't ask that question, you know. But as his service, lots of sex because he's a prajapati <laughs> to <coughs> fill the universe. <laughs> After he had darshan, many times with Lord Vishnu, because he'd do big, big jagnas, and Lord would make a seat in preparation, sit down for Lord Vishnu in his portion of the jagna. So many times he had darshan with Lord Vishnu. And in the end, again, he performs severe austerities. Why? To develop love of God? Is it? You know, how? Huh? This young Manaji knows. No, no, no. It was not to develop love of God. 10,000 years of the devas, which is uh, huge millions of years, our time, hundreds of millions of years, our time, or trillions of years, our time. 
We perform our studies for what? For what purpose? To get better, stronger sex power. It's true. It's what the Bhagavatam says. I'm not making this up. It may sound like, you, because you're all very intelligent because you're Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. You may say, what? Are, are, are you for real, Maharaj? Yes. That's what the Bhagavatam, I'm not saying, that's what the Shema Bhagavatam says. Shema Bhagavatam says that he performed austerities to increase his sex power so he could become a more powerful Prajapati. This is an example of how a devotee, you can't say he's a non-devotee. <coughs> he's doing big, big jagnas and worshipping Lord Vishnu. You can't say that any of the devas are non-devotees. You can't say that. Well, what kind of devotee they are? Sakama. How many of you, everybody knows the word kama, but how many of you know the meaning sakama? Let's see. That's a little better. So, are you a proper disciple? No? But you see, wise elder, you see, a wise elder, and many cultures around the world, in most cultures, the elders are considered wise. Of course, America has fallen completely, but here we see an example of a wise Vaishnavi. She knows the answers to the questions and all you guys sitting here. Let me ask the question again. What does Sakama mean? Raise your hands high, please. Oh, the number of people went up. The number who know went up. That's that's interesting, huh? It's good. Okay, oh, good. So, what does Sakama mean? Loudly, please. Full of attachment. Yes. Sa. Kama means desire. Kama means everybody knows Kama means lust, but also means desire. Sa Kama means full of it, loaded with material desires for sense gratification. They want it all, you know. That is Sakama. So the devas are like that. And that's why the universe is structured so that they're enjoying like anything, their sex life, their power, their big mustachio, yes? You want a big mustachio, Prabhu? No? You don't want gold armor and and gems all over your armor that would be worth trillions of dollars and two thousand and fifteen dollars trillions of dollars worth of jewelry and massive magical weapons boom boom I'll make all the Hollywood movies and Bollywood movies about they've tried you know actually they've tried to to show weaponry of of outer space what do you call it? intergalactic it's mean it's called between the stars wars uh don't waste your time with 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 hollywood just read shima bhagavatam <laughs> and you can hear about all these intergalactic wars and the type of weapons super powerful weapons you know incredible weapons are there or you can study the war between Sankachura, the demon, who was actually Subal, who fell from the spiritual world and became Sankachura, the demon, uh, and who married Tulsi Devi. It's a very long story. And there was a big fight, and Lord Shiva alone was fighting with him for a year, Earth time. And then Kali, the wife of Lord Shiva, she was fighting for Lord Shiva. <coughs> she became very angry, and she's hungry. And she swallowed 10,000 soldiers of the demon in one gulp. 10,000 demon soldiers swallowed. And then she's got a mouthful of soldiers. So she's, you know, trying to chew. But some fortunate ones, they crawled out in between the gaps in her teeth. You see the pictures of Kali. She has tusks, you know. So some more fortunate soldiers, like they ran like anything. 
and to, to get, you know, went through the gaps in her teeth and crawled out, you know, to get out of there before it was too late, you know. These things are going on. Read Shema of Bhagavatam. She told the Devi's story. <coughs> you know that Brinda Devi has her own web page? How many of you know that Brinda Devi has her own web page? Oh, you got, okay. How many of you people here are computer people? How many are computer people? Not that many? Well, if you go on a computer, you will find, then you, young man, you go on the computer, on your internet, if you get internet access with supervision. <laughs> you know, these days, young people go crazy when they go on the internet. They just go surfing all kinds of nonsense. Even, I'm sorry to say, even some neophyte devotees sometimes go looking for pornography. And this, this is why it is restricted generally you know, and gurukuls and so forth, because they they get allured. Come watch this, Maya says. This is very nice. You'll like this. Come, come, come. Oh, look at this. This is very interesting. Isn't it interesting? And you're going, mm. oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, it's very interesting. In the meantime, you waste hours. This is what the youth are doing all over the world. <laughs> Until they come across a devotee web page, doing, 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 all of a sudden, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Bolo, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And they go, wow, man, that was far out. What was that? I don't don't think it's not happening. Don't think it's not happening, you know. You know how many hits? Hits means how many people, you know, young people know what hits means, you know. There were 1,500 people per day watching Kirtan Mela on the internet. <coughs> they had a big screen set up in the manner in which they were watching and listening to Kirtan Mela. Hare Ba! <coughs> you try to understand this holy name given by Srila Prabhupada and our Vaishnava Acharyas coming through Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This holy name is conquering, present tense, the world. And will continue to count those of that you are young will see those of us that are old, it won't matter because we're out of here. <laughs> but those who are young, you will see how this movement will spread more and more. But try to understand the value of this movement. Try to understand the power of chanting of Hare Krishna. How it's holding back great disasters, great drought, great tsunamis are being held back. Sometimes it happens, you know. Sometimes it happens there, is, there was a, uh, a twister uh, <coughs> down in South India suddenly and uh, devastating, huge damage, millions of crores of damage. Uh, so these things are happening. I, actually, I, I had just, that was Vishakhapatnam. And I had just been at a university there at Vishakhapatnam giving a lecture. This is, what, this is what I like about India, you know. I'm giving a lecture before 300 students at the university. The dean of the university was there, as well as one of their most prominent professors was present for the program. When I was driving into the program, I was shocked to see Hoarding board, 
means we say billboard in America, <coughs> hoarding board, or the picture of myself, an, an advertisement for the program. I was saying, wow, this is amazing, you know. And there it was on a banner in the auditorium also, uh, my picture, and we welcome Bhakti Madhurya Govinda Goswami on a banner with my photograph, you know, in the auditorium before 300 students, you see. Only in India, I tell you, I don't think this happens very often in the West, this kind of thing. And then, the, and then and I would preach, you know, and then the professor in his suit and tie, he would get up there and he would repeat what I was saying, and the professor in the suit and tie he is preaching. And the dean of the university, a lady, she gets up there and she was preaching, repeating things I was saying. <coughs> you try to understand. That's Sula Prabhupada. Hariba! 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 So in my lecture I said, natural disasters are caused by sinful activities. Therefore, one must avoid sinful activities like illicit sex and intoxication, these things, because the reaction, there is reaction. The reaction is natural disasters. It was only weeks later that this hurricane struck that city. Only weeks later. I have a reason to believe that those 300 students who heard that lecture from a representative of Srila Prabhupada, there's no way they could forget. Krishna within Mata Smriti Genama Pahunam Cha. Krishna within heart would go, you see what Maharaj was saying? See how this has come from sinful reaction? Surely the majority, surely they must have remembered. This is this great movement. We are holding off so much sinful reaction. And Prabhupada said this movement will go down in history for saving the world in its hour of darkness. And if you don't think the world is in its hour of darkness, then, you know, re-examine. Okay, we have to stop there. Jaga Guru Sirpabhari Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Madhava Astasaki Ki Jai Shri Mahapancha Tattva Ki Jai Shama Veda Bhakti Vinayana Jai Nintai Gopra Manande Jai